Hello everybody and welcome back to Rogue Tech, where we are in a bit of a pickle here. Yeah. We do definitely need to move our Vulcan, and I wouldn't mind positioning it somewhere a little bit safer. Got it. But we're just going to have to place it over here, and we're going to Vigilance to get rid of all of that stability. Wonderful. And we're just going to fire on the Hetzer. Do what we can here. Okay. The Panther... There's minefield and flames everywhere. We're just going to stay put, and we're going to drop artillery on the hunter. We've been working on chipping down that uh, that uh, armor there. Firing all weapons. Wonderful. And sadly, we did lose our Shadowhawk to a really early AC2 ammo explosion. It was unfortunate. The Hetzer took burn damage there and then fired Inferno rounds at our panther, which is not amazingly relevant, actually. We're just going to turn the stalker. The trebuchet turned its back to us. Still actually not better to use dead fires here. I'm quite shocked about that. There we go. At long last, that trebuchet is down. And that's actually a very big deal. You know what? We can sprint our Vulcan over here and rear arc attack the Javelin. And that is definitely a good idea. Firing on rear arc. Very nice. Solid connection on that one. Okay, the Marshal closes in, fires on the Panther, does 9 damage. Not relevant. Fantastic. Orders. Okay, the panther is just going to stay put. And I think we fire on the Hetzer here. We have a pretty decent chance of getting a good crit. All weapons are go. One more and we got exactly that. Fantastic. That was a lot of damage on the panther, but our armor can support that for now. Indeed. The Javelin moves up over this way. Okay, the they're firing on our Vulcan, but that's not very relevant. I believe that was maybe a mine shot. Standing by. We'll have to see. The Stalker can actually move over this way, though, and that is a good idea. We're going to do exactly that. Surely now dead fires are better. Yes, dead fires are definitely better here. So the Hunchy would have to move through fire, unless we just turned, like this. Wonderful. We can fire the ER large. We can also fire the small laser here. This is hitting the weak arc. Roger. And that's a knockdown on the Javelin. Pilot is now panicked. I was hoping they would eject there, but no such luck. Waiting for orders. The panther is going to continue to back off a little bit. Oh, landmines there. That's unfortunate. We're going to drop artillery on the marshal, which is pretty untouched right now. Okay. They're continuing to try to do damage to the Vulcan, but it's really not relevant. Marshall set itself on fire for that shot, but it did expose structure on the panther. Where is that structure exposure? My internals are taking a beating. In the leg. And that's where our thumper ammo is. Had to be that leg, huh? <laughs> okay. Oh, I did not mean to reserve there. Ow. Luckily, none of that killed our thumper ammo. Okay. We're going to take the Stalker over here. Actually, more like here. Moving out. We're not going to fire dead fire, I think, here. Yeah. We're just going to go for the CT and for the kill. Target. 
It did not happen. Does he eject here? Yes, he did eject. Good. Aye, aye. Okay. Orders. So we're going to move the Vulcan over this way. Position confirmed. And we're just going to brace for right now. Standing by. The Hunchy is actually not, I think, what we're moving. Aye, aye. No, that is. We just can't go this direction. Okay. Well, we definitely don't want our back exposed over here. But we're going to brace and let them come to us a little. Firing on the panther. I would prefer that they weren't. Took a hard hit there. Yeah. We're going to back off a little bit with the panther. On my way. And we're going to fire on the marshal here. We want to keep backing off with the panther as much as possible. Commander. Okay, we're going to jump the Vulcan over this direction. Roger. And just brace. Okay, they can waste ammo if they want. I'm okay with this. I'm here. The Hunchy is going to make its way forward, I think... It's likely to be an attack target here. That's flames on the way. We could come over here. Going full throttle. And then we want to vigilance here for sure. And we'll start working on this marshal. Roger. 18 damage. Not ideal, but it'll have to do. Good to go. The stalker will close in. And the question is, does it go for the hunter? 30% hit odds. We've softened that armor a lot. I think we do this. That was internal damage there. Standing by. Okay, we're going to move the hunchy over here into cover and brace. We're going to jump the Vulcan. That's a minefield there. We're going to jump the Vulcan over here. This is the left arm. So this is strong side pointing towards them. What is in this arm? That's our other medium laser magna. I think we're going to present frontal arc to them rather than side arc. I was hoping for the narc hit. No narc hit. It would have been lucky, but it, it was not likely. Fail to connect. Yep, that is fine. Orders? We're going to continue to withdraw a bit with the Panther. The only thing that we can drop artillery on here... I mean, we could hit up here, but we just don't have sensors. Is the Marshal. Okay, that wasn't ideal in terms of a hit, but it'll have to do. It did not succeed in connecting with the Vulcan, although we have to assume missiles are going to be coming in on the Vulcan here. Yeah. Okay, we're going to move in with the Stalker. Just trying to get into that optimal range. The only object in sensors is the Marshal. Decent armor reduction there. And yeah, here it comes. No damage to the Vulcan there. That's fine. Ooh, on the panther? I thought we were out of sensor range there. I'm taking internal damage. I thought for sure we'd be out of sensor range. Good to go. Okay. I want the Vulcan to make its way up this direction for the purposes of sensors. We'll, we'll have to jump, actually. And we will also Vigilance here. This is almost rear arc. Ooh, we actually hit that narc. That was lucky. Aye, aye. We're going to close in with the Stalker. Acknowledged. Our hit odds are 33%, slightly lower if we go dead fire. Okay. Wonderful. We're going to back off again 
with the panther. Face like that. And we want to go for the hunter. We're so close to internal damage there. That did not hit the hunter. Okay, no damage to the Vulcan. I'm here. The Hunchy can make its way up over this way. That's minefield on the way, though. And I actually think there's minefield basically everywhere. That's minefield. I think we have to take the minefield hit. Well, maybe not, actually. We could just make our way out over this direction and try to skirt around it. And I think that's what we're going to do. At this point, I think it's safe to say that we've outlasted their missiles. Orders. We are going to jump our Vulcan off over this direction. We're not in LOS of anything, so we're going to brace. Primary purpose of our Vulcan being up there is, in fact, the sensors. It's the Hunchy's turn. Hunchy can make its way up over here. So it shall. And we can hit side arc on this marshal. And we're looking at starting to do some serious damage to this marshal at this point. No damage to the Vulcan. That's ideal. I'm receiving you. We're going to drop artillery on the hunter. Got it, Commander. Okay. Internal structure exposed. Blackjack also took some damage there. It just didn't fire its LRMs. Is it out? It may be out. Yes, it, yes it is. It is out of LRMs. Standing by. That is huge. We're going to move up with our stalker. And we're going to continue firing on the Marshal. Hit odds are still better with standard LRMs than they are with dead fire. Yes. Roger. Okay. Does he have Ace Pilot? Because he just didn't move. We took no damage, either. Standing by. We're going to sprint. Actually, we can't sprint because of minefield. We're going to jump over here with the Vulcan. With the idea being, eliminate this hunter. Yes. Hunter is down. One more for the trash. Okay. All they have left All right. is the Blackjack and the Marshal. We are going to start dropping artillery on the marshal. That is the bigger threat. In all Wasn't great in terms of damage output, but it'll have to do. We have minefield basically everywhere over here. We're going to have to just leave the hunchy where it's at, I think. But we have really solid hit odds here. I'm taking this job. And we didn't get good hits with really solid hit odds. That's sad. We can actually close in up over here to be within ideal range of our LRMs. We're going to be running out of LRMs here, or rather standard LRMs. We'll still have dead fire. Okay. Arm destruction there. Blackjack closes in. Fires on the Vulcan. Interesting. Very interesting. Standing by. Okay, we're going to drop artillery on the marshal. And we're going to hope to really rattle this pilot. It's a lot of internal damage going in there. Receiving you. We're going to jump in to the rear arc of this blackjack. Now, we're lacking a lot of our backstab potential. But we're just looking to... I mean, honestly, his frontal arc is pretty weak, too. Zero hits. Okay. We're, we were mostly just looking to soften up the Blackjack psychologically more than anything. 
Okay. Marshall going for the stalker. It's irrelevant. We are going to attack with the hunchy. Good hit odds again. This is an overheat. I think we will avoid firing the ER medium laser for right now. Copy that. More armor reduction there. That marshal does not have much left. Blackjack with its 360 degree torso turn. Ridiculous. Yes, Commander. Okay, we're gonna take our stalker over this direction where there is no minefield, surprisingly. We're going to continue to fire on the marshal. We are going to fire these dead fires. Okay, that's a torso destruction. Two medium pulse lasers down. Pilot ejected from the marshal. Fantastic. All that's left is a blackjack. Sure, attack the stalker. I really don't care. We're going to take the Vulcan in directly behind. That's jump to minefield there. Anyway, we slice it, it's minefield along the way. I think we're just going to sprint into the back here and call it good. Sure, we take some leg damage. Okay, leg damage. That's not the worst, realistically. That's minefield there. We can just close in ever so slightly with the blackjack. And I think we avoid firing the ER large here. And instead fire like this. Actually, the hit odds are better to go this way. We would just hit overheat, but I think it's worthwhile. Yeah, especially with that hit from the ER large, but all three pulse lasers missed. That made me sad. Not as sad as the AC2 ammo explosion, but still pretty sad. A decent armor chunk there. And we want to be sitting right about here for our dead fires. This is our last set of dead fires. So we are now fully out of ammo. For our LRMs, anyway. They ran out of ammo before we did, of course. Okay, we're going to just jump in behind the blackjack. And, I mean, he has armor in his rear. We're mostly looking to unsettle him with this. Excellent. Ready for orders. Now, this is very close to our Vulcan. So, we're actually going to have it attack ground, like, over here. Firing a full salvo. Systems holding. Okay. We did manage to hit it. It's going to melee our stalker. That's a really bold move. Considering our hunchy is literally right here. And moves next. Okay. Maybe... I really wish we could fire the ER large. We really can't get away with that, though. I have the advantage. Okay. Solid rear arc damage there. The Stalker can actually get in behind it. We can sprint to right here. That would be minefield on the way. We don't care. Acknowledged. Light him up. Put one in the back. It's an engine crit. That's a second engine crit. Okay. We move again. The Vulcan... Unfortunately, can't get rear arc, but it can get side arc. RM ammo destruction. Engine destruction. Perfect. Okay. Well, we are just going to start closing in up over here. We have succeeded. The question is, at what cost? It's definitely going to cost us a fair amount to repair here. Interestingly, the minefield seems to have gone away. Yep, we are going to hold position there. The minefield did not go away. <laughs> or at least not all of it. Well, that's okay. So, we should get some pretty decent salvage out of this. 
I mean, our pay is super duper low, but we knew that. The Shadowhawk, I mean, Showboat didn't die. The Shadowhawk is going to be super expensive to repair. I'm just super salty that the AC2 ammo exploded and took the uh, center core with it. Oh well. We'll see what that actually takes. We could get a full blackjack out of this. And I think we do that. So we grab ourselves five blackjack parts. What else do we potentially have available? There's some stuff there. We'll see what we get. But I want that blackjack. Javelin part, martial part, trebuchet part, LRM 10, 15, 20 telos, two of them. LRM 5, five machine guns, we'll sell those. Engine core 180, we already have one of those. Engine core 220, we already have one of those. That right there may have made this worthwhile. The heat sinks, we're keeping those. Those are super impactful. We'll sell these jump jets. Okay. I'm reasonably content with this. So, that blackjack. The question is... It had the hard points to be a missile boat. I didn't even look at the hard points. Let's look at what hard points it has as soon as we can. Yang will tell us what the damage is, but we'll have to manually repair. So what do you got, Yang? Half a mil? Don't get started just yet. Getting that Shadowhawk repaired is kind of a low priority. Now, getting this... Where is it? I know it's in here somewhere. <laughs> Getting this blackjack repaired might be important. Is it, uh... That's the javelin there. I know there's a blackjack in here that is ready to be... To, ready to be repaired. But I'm not seeing it. Oh, it's right here. Okay, hard points. Eight ballistic hard points. Zero missile hard points. Interesting. Two energy hard points. Yep. We are readying that. that Arm actuator limit Omnimech. Okay. So this is an Omnimech variant. But an IS Omnimech. Gotcha. Okay, let's repair the Vulcan. We need to just get these repairs done. So we'll replace this over here. We took out a Machine Gun Plus, so we'll put a Machine Gun Plus in. And Jump Jet and Medium Laser Magna over here. So we'll put in a Jump Jet, which we did get some of those. Wonderful. And a Medium Laser. We could go with an ER, but I don't think there's any point. Well, actually, our heat efficiency is pretty decent. We'll be fine on that front. Okay. We'll max that armor out. Wonderful. 66k, 7 days. Do it. Okay. The Stalker. That just needs some armor put on. Easy enough. The Panther, I mean, this is actually a very simple fix as well. There's just a little bit of internal damage, and it needs armor. 18k, 4 days. The Panther may actually... You know what? I'm going to stop that. The Panther may be replaced here. We're going to repair the Hunchy and max out its armor. And of course, because it's the Hunchy... We need to max out the armor manually, for whatever reason. Okay, we'll need to take out a little bit of weight here. Something like this. Yeah, that's the best we got. 41k, that's a lot of armor actually. Okay. 
and then the Shadow Hawk is a low priority. So the Panther is potentially going to be a reasonably high priority. The Blackjack is going to be perhaps the highest priority. We're going to replace everything here. We have an Engine Core 200. This does have an XL engine in it. We kind of don't care about that. It's got an endosteel structure. We may want to put on ferrofibrous armor as well, but we may have a slot limit. We're going to take off the LRMs for sure. In fact, we're going to remove all weaponry for right now. Do we still have a weapon? Melee damage. Okay. We do not. So we have 27 tons to work with. And this is a lot of hard points. Sweet, sweet Omnimex. Here's the idea. That puts us slightly overweight. Okay. We could downgrade our engine from an engine core 200. Since this thing doesn't need to move very much. We could downgrade this to, say, something like an Engine Core 155. Engine Core already installed on mech. What? Oh, we have to uninstall this Engine Core? I'm confused. Why can't we downgrade our engine? I feel like we should be able to. I also kind of don't want to do an Engine XL if we can get away with it. Like, I would kind of rather have a standard fusion engine. Engine shielding already installed on mech. Yes, I'm aware of this. And I think that we probably don't have enough heat sinks. Yeah, we have two free external heat sinks. What cooling is this? We actually don't have a cooling kit on this. We'll use standard heat sink cooling. So we do need to free up some slots. That is expected. I would love to have dual thumpers on this. But I think maybe we drop the ferrofibrous armor and then we would have something along the lines of we'll have two heat sinks, one here and one here. Those will be our free heat sinks. Our alpha strike is 36 heat and we're sinking 30 heat here. Okay. It's certainly interesting. We could simply strip off armor, like that. We will, of course, need some thumper ammo. Do we have thumper ammo? Needs to be under ammo. That would help. Thumper ammo. We do. And where do we want to store this? Oh, we've got jump jets on this thing. Hang on. We're getting rid of these jump jets. Absolutely for sure. And then we'll put a thumper ammo in each leg, like this. I mean... In theory, this should be an upgrade over the Panther, right? This is 500 armor. I'm going to confirm this. We may cancel it in a moment, but... I'm going to confirm that. That's 300k. Yeah, that's expensive. The Panther's overall armor, if we refit this is at 291 currently. With the armor maxed out, it's at 580. So that's a little less armored than the Panther. But that's okay. Realistically, I think we just send the Panther to storage here. It's too badly damaged. Oh, we have to repair it first? Fine. Okay, so we're going to take the Panther and make that be the top priority here. And then the Shadowhawk... The question is, how much is this actually going to cost to refit? 384 right there. Okay. I mean, the core issue with the Shadowhawk is that the hard points suck, right? That's fine. Let's put ferrofibrous armor on it if we can. Not enough free slots. I'm sorry, what? 
<laughs> okay, maybe it's because we've got the engine primitive in here and we'd want to go to a standard fusion engine. Yeah, that's probably what's going on there. Now we could do the ferrofibrous. Yes. We need the engine core. And what engine core did we have in there? We had a 245. We can just replace that. This would be half a mil right here. We could put jump jets on this thing. The LBX AC-10 is 11 tons. Yeah, we could definitely put jump jets on this. One, two, three, four, like so. We may want to have endo steel structure on this too. That does free up some tonnage. It's expensive, but that's okay. We've got the laser AMS over here still. And I kind of feel like we go for maybe a pulse laser. A mortar. Uh, no, we're not going to go for a mortar. Like, this is basically a discount Vulcan, right? Just with more brawl ability. I mean, it is decent at melee. What is this melee damage? 31. We could put in the AC2. And that would be okay. And then ammo AC2. And maybe a safe. Since we, uh... Had a small problem with that previously. Do we have a safe? Yes, or rather a case, not a safe. Okay. Yeah, that'll help. I wish we had a safe. That would be ideal. <laughs> but unfortunately, we do not. So we have four tons remaining to work with here. We need to put on some heat sinks. How many heat sinks do we need? Uh, we need a heat kit, for one thing. We're going to need standard heat sink cooling. And then... One free heat sink. Okay. That's fine. We'll just drop that probably in the center torso. Then we have five tons almost to work with here. We could put a large laser in. And then just drop a small amount of armor somewhere. Like maybe a tiny amount on the legs. Something like that. Okay. We'll confirm that. It's expensive. We did not necessarily come out on top of that, but with the uh, with the addition of the blackjack, this is going to be interesting. But for now, you can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I'll see you all next time.